Hey boys and girls, welcome back to PJT Forging, and today we're getting a new piece of equipment which I'm super excited about. So, let's just dive straight in. Shut up and sit down. Unfortunately, whilst this little press has been absolutely great, it's just not cutting it. It's really struggling with the larger billets and the thicker pieces of forging. So I think it's time for a long overdue upgrade. The plan I've got is Sam's coming around in a bit and we're going to be getting this thing off here, putting it on the dolly and getting it out of the way somewhere. On the base plate here, it's got this sort of recess section. You see there's like some reinforcement bars that this thing was resting on. Obviously when the new press arrives, I don't know whether it's going to fit into this same gap. But thankfully the frame has these drilled holes in each corner. And I've bought this piece of mild steel which I'm going to be basically bolting onto the frame and then I'm going to bolt the new press onto this piece. And then the hydraulic unit will be sitting on this new table I built a little while ago. So with that all said and done, let's find a Sam, let's get this thing off and then we'll go and pick up the new press. Exciting times! Hey. Maryland's. I found a Sam. I'm Sam. Sam, you've been put in charge of videoing. Take your responsibility seriously. <laughs> Stop staring at me like that. This is me being serious. Is it? Yeah. It's awful. You're just filming the biscuits, aren't you? No. Stop it! <laughs> no! So, anyway, we are on our way to Dover which is, I don't know, something like 200 miles away from uh, South Birmingham where we are. And as you can see, the traffic around London is fun. But we are on our way there to go and pick up a new 12-ton uh, coal ironworks forging press, which I'm super excited about. And the next clip will probably either be us playing with it there or just driving back with it, depending on whether or not the guy minds being on camera. So yeah, we'll see. Bye. So we've got the press. Uh, the guy, <laughs> the guy I bought it from. Uh, well, we were introduced to him as this guy has like a full social media blackout. So I figured he probably didn't want to be recorded and put on camera. Uh, and it was his mate who did the sale for us. So we've got the press. We're on the way back. My car is currently charging uh, as it's electric, and we've decided to stop and have a beer instead. So. Cheers, I guess. Jesus, that's corny. Right, we've got this thing in place now. Sam is leaving us. Bye, Sam. Bye. Please leave. <laughs> Love you. And tomorrow morning, we will worry about getting this thing bolted down and we'll have a play with it and see what we got. So let's check back then because it's currently midnight and that was a really long drive. No comments about my lifting form. This thing is heavy. That sucked. So annoyingly, where I drilled these holes to line up with these ones underneath, what I didn't account for is these bolts sticking through are hitting up against those beams that were on the underside. So I'm having to put it here. So I'm just re-drilling some holes, tapping them, and I'm bolting them down just a little bit further up the frame. 
Not the end of the world, just not very aesthetically pleasing. But there we are. Okay, we've got this thing bolted down. What do you say we give this thing a test with a piece of wood to begin with, and then we'll talk through it and get to squishing some metal. So the story behind this thing goes that the bloke I bought it from, uh, he had it imported from America, and basically it looks like it probably got dropped off a pallet. You can see there's some various scuff works in the paint. Apparently this handle was bent. It looks like there's a small plaque or something missing on the side here, and this mounting bracket down here uh, was bent, so I'm imagining it was probably dropped on this corner in the shipping container. As a result, he contacted Coal Ironworks in order to get this thing repaired, and they basically said, listen, it's going to cost us more to ship it back with the import tax, so we'll just send you a new one. So Matey Boy got a brand new press, and he had this one lying around for spares and repairs, basically. But in terms of the actual functionality of it, this thing is in perfect working order. The only damage was cosmetic, so I've effectively got a brand new press just with a few scuff marks. Now, £3,000 sounds like a lot of money, and it is. However, buying this thing new would have cost £3,077. Add to that the shipping cost of £607, the import tax of 743 that would have been a total of 4447 So I basically got 1500 quid off the price, and all it's got to show for it is a couple of dinks. But yeah, I am super happy with this thing. I am going to heat up some steel, and let's see what this thing is really capable of. So we'll start off things easy. This is just some 15mm round bar, and let's see what it can do with this. Is a big chunk of steel and that thing pretty much just ate it and that was using flat dies and not even really at an optimum forging temperature so yeah this thing's pretty impressive I think I'm gonna be getting some good use out of this and it even came with some stickers it came with these h13 fullering dies which would make that process even easier and then some various other fixtures and fittings it also came with some spare green paint to touch it up, and I don't know if this came with it, but the guy who sold it to me also provided me with this way lube just for the uh, the sides. And then finally, and obviously, the instruction manual, which I need to keep hold of because I have no idea how to maintain this thing. I'm not very good when it comes to hydraulics. But yeah, all in all guys, I am happy with this purchase. Obviously you're going to be seeing this thing featuring in future videos, so we'll see how it goes. 
And I guess if it doesn't work out, I can probably sell this thing on for pretty much what I paid for it, as these are almost impossible to get in the UK without paying the import and shipping. And I could always upgrade to a 25 ton or something. So there's options available. But for now at least, I think this thing's going to serve me well. I'm going to name you Preston. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Action Figure, I expect you to die! <laughs> Well, that wasn't very funny.